All right, number 13. Um, we have let U be T U V W X Y Z. A is T Y. D is the set W X. C is the set T Y Z. And B is the set T U W Y Z. And we want to tell whether the statement below is true or false. U is the universal set, so it contains everything in question. And then we have this Euler. So it looks like a Euler, E U L E R, but it's pronounced Euler. He is the person who has come up with these sets and Venn diagrams. Uh, you can kind of read about him in your text. You can pull it up from here by going to Question Help and Textbook. Uh, it'll take you to Section 2.2. You can read up a little bit on him. Um, but it says we're going to use the Euler diagram on the right uh, to see if it correctly represents the relationships among C, A, and U. Okay, so U is a universal set. Everything is in the universal set. That means T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Okay, and let's just draw this out. We'll put the letters in there okay, as we need. Now, um, it's showing C as the bigger set. So C contains um, T, Y, and Z. So inside the universal set, we definitely know that T, Y, and Z are in there. So this is set C. And we have uh, T, Y, and Z in here. And then it says the set A is completely contained in set C. Well, what is in A? T and Y. Okay, T and Y are also here. So this, if I just put a circle around T and Y, this represents the set A. So according to this diagram, C is a bigger set than A, and everything that's in A is also in C. And then this space provided on the outside, the universal set, we can list all of those other, don't put a tail on the U, I'm sorry. That's bad grammar. You want to put a U with no tail um, to represent universal set. We can list all of the other elements that's not that are not listed T, Y, and Z. We can put them on the outside. So that would be like uh, the lowercase u, uh, v, w, uh, x. Okay, we can put all of those. So all of those letters are in the, the universal set. U, v, w, y, t. U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Okay, so everything's in U. C is in here and A is in here. So this diagram is true. It does represent um, what we see here. Uh, we can see from the diagram that A is contained in C, which means A is a proper subset. A is a subset of C. We also see that uh, C is a proper subset of U and a subset of U. Number 14, uh, we want to find the number of subsets and the number of proper subsets. So just go back to the formula. Um, subsets are 2 to the n power. And proper subsets are 2 to the n minus 1. So all we have to do is find this get proper and then subtract one. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight elements. Now there is a table in the book because two to the eighth gets to be pretty large. Um, so let me go to the text and show you that real quick. Pull up the textbook. Maybe kind of small so I might have to zoom in. Give it a moment to load. Okay, so this takes us to 2.2. All right, you can see a lot of the definitions that we've been talking about. Uh, here's uh, Ben. He's one of the guys that came up with the Venn diagram. Proper subsets. And then here's that table I was wanting to mention. Let me see if I can zoom in. Okay, so. 2 to the 8th power 256. Okay, so this is a power of 2 table that kind of shows you several of those. So 256 um, is what we will get here. And 
and then if we do 256 minus 1 that will give us 255 so number of subsets would be 256 and proper subsets would be 255